Tokyo Tsukiji Fish Market does a brisk trade in the mornings. Bluefin tuna is being auctioned off. In just 15 minutes, it's all over. The fish are packed and loaded, destined to end up in a restaurant. Like this one, a typical sushi bar in Japan, where the food is freshly prepared in front of its customers. It is not because I'm Japanese. It comes to me naturally, as I've been eating it since I was born. This dish explains why the Japanese consume close to 80% of bluefin tuna catch, sashimi or slices of raw fish. And among sashimi lovers, it's tuna or maguro that's the most highly prized and popular. The consumption of tuna has also increased as Japanese cuisine becomes more popular worldwide. The Pacific bluefin was not considered as endangered as the Atlantic bluefin until recently. But its population has now been decimated to 3.6%. It's partly because of overfishing and the fact that the Pacific subspecies, bigger than other tuna, takes longer to reproduce. Now there's a proposal to cut the catch of young tuna by 15%. Goro Yoshizaki is a scientist who's working on a method that he hopes will help the Pacific bluefin. He's trying to breed tuna using mackerel as a surrogate species. Researchers harvest cells from frozen testes of tuna and then implant them into mackerel hatchlings. When the mackerel are grown, they'll hatch tuna. But this technology won't be ready for several years. In order to seek a full recovery of their population, we should have a 10-year closed season. But in reality, it's difficult to impose this because there are so many parties concerned, like fishermen, processors, and traders. Not to mention sushi and sashimi eaters everywhere. Already, some restaurants ban Atlantic bluefin from their menu. People in Japan will hope they don't have to resort to that to save the Pacific bluefin. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Tokyo.